Hi everyone and welcome to WOWS TV's Healthy Lifestyle and Cooking Show. We've got a great show for you tonight. Merry Christmas to all of you and your family. Now gather those kids around the table because we're going to do some cooking. Chef Christopher is in the house. We've got all your stuff coming your way, so make sure you're cooking with us. Send in your questions. We're going to have a great show. Stay tuned. and welcome to our winter wonderland. It is certainly wonderful to be here. Well, this is, I got to tell you, the chef to the stars, Chef Christopher Woods. Really, tell me about this. You cook for the stars. Oh, Margaret, we cook for stars all the time when they're in town. Michael Douglas, John Travolta, Queen Latifah, you name them, when they're here, we cook for them. Well, I got to tell you, we've got a room full of stars that'll put any of those stars down. We are we in Brampton. Do. I know. We are the fourth Live Right Now community in the CBC uh, movement. And so we got some stars in the house. We're so thrilled to have you. Oh, and our viewers you. at home are going to be cooking along with you. We are. Which, fun. It's going to be so much fun. Fabulous cooking. Now, and I also have my version of Paul Schaefer. Yes, let's put our hands together for Paul Wright in the house. Happy holidays, Margaret. Great to be here. Paul Wright is the Wallace for Wellness social media guru, and he, tell us, take it away. Tell us what we're doing, Paul. Well, we want to hear from you tonight out there. Follow hashtag WowTV. Send in your questions, your comments, and follow along during this broadcast, and also on Facebook, on facebook.com slash Wallace for Wellness. Thanks, Paul. It's going to be a great show. So uh, all of you in the audience, sit back, relax. We're going to kick off your holiday season with some fantastic food. And Christopher, tell us what we're cooking tonight. We're starting off with some Thai grilled shrimp. Margaret. Always at Christmas time, there's always shrimp, whatever party you go to. That's true. And this is a really, really nice, simple one to do. So let's get started. Well, actually, I want to hear what else we're cooking. Because, oh. yeah, I want to hear the whole menu because the people at home, All we right. got to know. What else? We got a Tuscan tart. We have a Tuscan tart with mm -hmm. some caramelized shallots and some oven dried tomatoes. And Fantastic. then we're going into our baked figged wrap of prosciutto with gorgonzola, oh. candied pecans with a balsamic maple reduction. Okay, is Killer. your mouth watering? Because mine certainly is. And figs, it certainly sounds like the season. So that sounds delicious. Now for everybody there at home, get the kids around the table, get out all your ingredients. We're going to walk you through the simple steps to make this delicious and nutritious meal in your home so that you can be impressing your guests over the holidays during this holiday season. What do you think? I think we should do it right now. Okay, well, uh, let's get let's started. So stay tuned because we've got lots of yummy things coming up and special holiday tips coming your way real soon. Obesity is one of the most significant health problems we have at the moment in Canada and it's getting worse. And right now about 61% of Canadian adults are either overweight or obese. You have to consider, well, why do we have this problem? And it's certainly not because people wake up in the morning and think, oh, I think I'll do something to damage my health by eating the wrong things and not exercising enough. Of course not. So what has changed over the years that we've, uh, we're now more and more at risk for, for being obese? That's what we have to consider. And the answer is, it's the way we live our lives and where we live that makes making those choices, good choices, so very, very difficult. We've largely engineered physical activity out of our lives and we're surrounded uh, by um, energy-dense 
uh, food, poor nutri nutrient quality uh, everywhere we go. And the result is what we see today. We are taking the naturally, the easy way to get through the day. And very often that amounts to convenience foods, driving everywhere. Um, and um, that results in us not getting enough uh, exercise integrated into our daily lives and uh, very often not eating the optimum diet. And there's important information recently that's saying that uh, even if we have too many pounds on, uh, we can in fact be healthy if we are physically active. Conversely, there are people who are thin, who are not physically active, and they're, they're at risk for poor outcomes in terms of cardiovascular disease uh, as well. So whatever our weight, we can improve our health and reduce our risk if we're physically active. The change in our society has not been in terms of organized sports or recreation. It's been in everyday physical activity. And that's where we see the physical act activity disappearing out of our lives. So you can put physical activity back into your life. It's a matter of getting off the bus a stop earlier, or even taking the bus at all, rather than driving. It's a matter of children walking or cycling to school. And that's a way we can get it back in. The fact is, only 15% uh, of adults meet the requirements for physical activity. And these are modest requirements. This is half an hour a day for five days a week. 150 minutes a week and yet only 15% of Canadians meet even that very low standard and the figures for children are even worse. Of course there's an, a number of things we can do in our own communities to support people being physically active. Some of them are big challenges and they're long term. Um, changing the way our built environment is in increasing um, density and providing public transportation. So those are long-term things. But are there simple, straightforward things that we can do now? Yes, of course there are. If each of us just took two flights of stairs a day, uh, we would see a clear impact in terms of both weight and our um, fitness levels and reduce our risk from cardiovascular disease. We can take the existing elevators in, a, in an office building and say to people, we're only going to stop at every second or every third floor. And you have to uh, take one or two, f one flight of steps. Um, and that in itself would add enormously to uh, people's physical activity. Uh, there are a number of places that have done sensible, straightforward, low-cost things to try and improve their environment so it supports uh, physical activity and uh, healthy eating. One pl such place is New York City. Um, we became interested in the work they're doing uh, for one reason, because they've shown it makes a difference. So here at the region of Peel, we've been working with them uh, to learn from, from their experience. I think the key success factor for us in Peel is to get the support of all sections of the community, the general public, um, council, and, and so on. And I do believe that we have that. We have a lot of interest. Um, uh, Peel Regional Council is supportive, but beyond that, uh, local area municipalities, those councillors are also very supportive. I know the school boards uh, have an interest. Um, so I think if we all pull together uh, and come up with these practical solutions, we can make a difference. Thank you, Dr. Moat. Your words are heard loud and clear, and that's why we're here today for this show, to talk about how we can have delicious and nutritious food, both in our homes, in our workplaces, and in our schools. So, we got to get this party started. Let's get it started, Mother. So, smell vision Let's get this kitchen smelling good. What do you got going well, down here? This is what I do every year. I get some President's Choice. Fabulous. Apple cider. This is so simple. Just fill a pot, half full. Where's our stuff? Here we go. Cinnamon sticks, guys. Easy. Excellent for digestion. By Star the way. anise. Star anise. Cloves. Pinch of cloves. That's it. We throw that on the stove. We put that on simmer. Then let that simmer away. 
know what that'll do? It'll just fill your house with holiday with spirit. With holiday spirit. You yes. bet. Holiday and if spirit. you too bad for you at home, smell a vision. If you are at home, put that on the stove right now and so that you're getting into the spirit. Now we can actually start cooking the shrimp. Now, let's get going. Let's get the guys at home starting to cook. Shrimp. These 1620 shrimp, which means 1620 to a pound. Now when you guys buy these shrimp, when you go to the store, you'll see them in the, the, the fish counter there. You say to the people, do you have any of those frozen? Give me the frozen ones, please. Because you know the frozen ones are fresh. fresh. Okay, fresh is good. You if mean they, they didn't, didn't come from Thailand? They didn't swim here? They came fresh. Oh, they but came it fresh? took them a week. That's it. <laughs> exactly. So. so it's better. That's a great tip. It it's is. better to, than you just thought, and you've got your fresh, whereas you don't know how long it's been sitting in the counter. And then... If you do, and that's all they say, that's sorry, that's all we have, tell them, first of all, they're lying. Right. Because they have them in the back. Okay. And second <laughs> of all, right. then say, please, can I smell them? Okay. And they'll say, what? And you say, can I smell those shrimp? If they don't smell like the sea, don't buy them. If they smell like old socks, say, no, thank you. I'm right. going to another store. Great. Okay. Okay. So, so now what's shrimp. the next step? We have a little dill. We okay. chalk oh, a little dill. Nice. We just sprinkle a little dill in. We have a little lemon zest. A little lemon zest. Now, for the kids that are at home, look at this, guys. Oh, we're getting there. We're I know, there. but I just love this tool. I had to do something. I'm I up know, here. I know, I know, I know. That ahead. lemon zest that you did, it's that simple, right? Literally to Go use ahead. all parts. Oh, I get to do it? Go ahead. Am I going to hurt myself? Oh, there we yeah, go. Yeah, this is live TV. You don't you bleeding now. <laughs> no, that would That'd be, be bad. bad. <laughs> that would be bad. <laughs> nice address, though. That's right. Absolutely. <laughs> there we go. Okay, beautiful. That's Done. That's line. That's it. Then we get our knife. We just scrape it off the board. And that's as easy as that is. If you don't have one of these home, go to your kitchen gadget stores. It's a microplaner. I use it every day. Orange zest, lime zest. That's where all the flavor is in a real lemon and a lime and an orange is in the zest. Right. Just the outer coating. Not the white part like we did here, mm -hmm. but just the green part. Right, right. And that's the best part. And we also have some Thai chilies. So we got a little Thai chili like this. Okay. And we chopped it up nice and fine. Now, for the kids at home and the parents alike, you got to be really careful when you're cutting these up. I absolutely love to cook, and my kids love to cook with me. That in the eye, not so pretty, right? Not you got to be thing. really careful. Not a good thing. So you got to be very careful. Some people wear rubber gloves, or as soon as you finish doing that, go right to the sink, wash your hands, guys, because I don't want... Everybody rubs their eyes accidentally, and you won't be able to see the rest of the show. <laughs> That's right. So, we have some garlic. Now, this is roasted garlic. I'm going to show us how to do it. You know what? We're going to make garlic confit. Oh, okay. fancy, fancy, garlic fancy. Garlic confit is a French word for cooking in oil. So basically, we get some raw garlic cloves. We put them in a pot, just like that. We get some olive oil. And you just enough just to cover them. Okay. Okay. We put that on the stove on low. And let it let it simmer, simmer and they'll go golden brown and they turn into this so we take a couple of these because we got to get going here so that really helps to mellow out as well right it makes it so it's not as pungent, pungent. so when you're breathing on people at your christmas at your party, holiday party yeah and you're, if you're trying to meet girls or <laughs> exactly. girls meeting boys it's a better they thing go, oh i don't really like that girl yes now I've, I've got to just take a break here and go over to paul because we've got a wonderful comment from a very special person paul what have you got for us well margaret the the interaction has already begun on uh Hashtag Wow TV, and this is from Brampton Springdale um, MP Parmgill, and uh, I quote: uh, "Would like to thank Champions for Change for their hard work to help make Brampton more healthy." Uh, he would also like to wish everyone a happy, healthy, and sa safe holiday season. Oh, fantastic. And I must say, um, he has been one of our leaders. In fact, our Champions for Change team helped to him to lose 15 pounds. He talked about us in the House of Commons, and he's kept the 15 pounds off. Let's get back on task Let's get here. Now we've got to get going again. Okay, so a nice lemon. Actually, if you can find these right now, these are Meyer lemons. These are absolutely beautiful. They're up from Florida. They're not as strong a lemon, more flavor. It's all about flavor. Using the best ingredients we can, because it's all about flavor. A little bit of salt. Oh, a little bit of pepper. Back, back a little backwards. Back, back. A little olive oil. A little drizzle of honey. Ooh, nice. Just, well, in a Thai food, it, they have their four components. Right. Sweet, hot, sweet, mild, tangy. Mm -hmm. Mix it all up. And look at him getting in their kids with yeah, his hands for those kids at home. Get the kids to do this. You bet. You okay, bet. Because you can't hurt these things. 
you really can't hurt these. So you can actually let those set up for about 10 minutes if you want. But this is how simple this is. You get it like that. Put them on the skewer. Put them on the skewer, back to back, just like that. And that's it. And Christopher, so you're a dad, and I'm a mom, and the reality is with kids, when you involve them, whether it's in exercise or in healthy eating, if you empower your kids to get involved, they enjoy it. They and do. then they're going to actually want to eat the food that you're preparing. Well, it just makes them want to try everything that comes in the house. Exactly. And that's it. That's so so now we just put those in the pan. Ooh, sizzle. Right, that's it for those. We just let those grill up. Now those will grill up just for a couple of minutes. They don't take long to cook. As soon as they go translucent, they are done. Perfect. Oh, it's smelling good in here. And, and I hope it's smelling good at home for you too. We made a little chipotle aioli. Oh. It's very simple. We used a little chipotle right okay. here. And you made Some the mayonnaise. Other, yeah. A little lemon zest, a little salt and pepper. We mixed it together. We squeezed a little lemon juice in it. It's done. And away we We're go. We're gonna go like this. We got 32 seconds. We bring this over like this. I would serve two of these as an appetizer to a guest. And away we go. A little bit of Look sauce. Look at that. If you wanna get really fancy, you just get a little bit of petals. Beautiful. Boom, to your guest. Voila. Voila. Appetizer. Now, that Number isn't one. delicious. I don't know what is. Healthy, delicious, simple to do. You bet. Anybody can do this at home. We just did it in three minutes. So stay tuned because now we'd like to listen to Councillor Elaine Moore, who's really making a difference in the health and well being of our community. Stay tuned for more here on WOW. Our regional staff and our municipal staff here at the City of Brampton are working with our community partners so that we can explore ways to get people up out of their desk and keep them active throughout the workday. The one thing that our staff have come up with and we're modeling ourselves after the City of New York is to put signs up next to the elevators encouraging people to use the stairs. And what many people don't realize is that just two minutes on the stairwell or using that stairwell throughout the day has tremendous health benefits, not the least of which, and probably the most important one that people will ask, is that it will control weight gain. I was really encouraged by the success stories that came out of the City of New York's initiatives to get a, a healthier population. And here at the City, because we know that through their initiatives, they increased the stair usage by 50%. That is a remarkable percentage and a remarkable participation rate. So here at the City of Brampton, if we're going to model ourselves after another leader, the City of New York, we could use the posters and put them at our elevators encouraging people to use the stairwell. We are so lucky here at the City of Brampton because our building is designed so that the elevators and the stairwell are right next to each other. In many buildings, that's not the case. The buildings, the elevators and the stairway, you have to go looking for them. So here at the city with them right next to each other with a simple sign that says you could use the stairs today. Uh, makes that choice very easy because people can go to the, the stairwell and go down that two, three or even four flights of stairs and know that they're making a difference in their health. We are currently undergoing a city hall expansion, a very exciting project, a revitalization for the project for the downtown. And I think if we use that theme of revitalization, perhaps we can have our employees revitalize themselves as well. So in terms of the design of our new city hall expansion, having it designed so that the stairwells in the new part of the building are equally as accessible and make that option of choice very clear and very obvious for not just our staff, but visitors to the building. I am incredibly proud of our city for taking the lead on this. It is important for all of us as citizens to take control of our own health, to make healthy choices about uh, how we get to work and how we function at work. And I think that uh, the city of Brampton being seen as a leader in this, being a model for other businesses is something that I am just incredibly proud of. Welcome back. Okay, you've got the digestive juices going. We just did some fantastic shrimp. And now we're going to do a rustic Tuscan tart. tart. Oh, go figure. 
delicious. Okay, <laughs> this I'm ready. This is really simple too. Okay. We're gonna make this really simple. First we start, we're gonna, we have these beautiful little organic, fresh on the vine tomatoes. Basically what we do is we cut these in half. And if you can guys at home, try and buy the best ingredients you can. If you can buy organic, you can find them, get organic. Uh, it's all about wellness. We are what we eat. So you want to just eat the best food that we possibly can find because we're worth it. You betcha. Let's face it, we're only going to get one kick at this can. You betcha. And that's what I tell everybody. Eat the best food you can. Well, it and is these our... these little fellas are so tasty. It is. And it, and it's our energy, right? It, yes. It is what You are what up. you eat. You absolutely yeah, are. Yeah, exactly. Now, you've got parchment on here. Why oh, is that? Oh, parchment as a chef's friend. If you do not have parchment in your house, folks, buy parchment, use it for everything. First of all, it saves you from scrubbing your pants. Oh, that's a good one. Holiday Number tip. one holiday tip, yeah. no pan scrubbing. Like that. This is the best. And nothing sticks to your pan. And we put a little bit of olive oil on top, and we fire those in the oven. So we nice. got the oven a little high, because we're gonna cook these fast. Nice. And so that's about 350, and those will be done in about 30 minutes. So next thing we're gonna do is our shallots. Okay, so for those people at home, now that they've followed along and they've put it into the into the uh, oven, notice that all of these ingredients are cut ahead of time. This is probably the best thing ever to do in terms of saving time, not just to holiday, but always. It's more efficient, you don't forget things, and if you're not a typical chef like you, mm -hmm. um, it makes it easier. Well, when you're following a recipe at home, you look at all the ingredients, you measure everything out before you even start cooking. Right. Okay, so that way you're ready. Exactly, exactly. So just follow the recipe because ingredients are there. Oh. Done. Oh, so you're going to start with the shallots because we have some really exciting news. We are going to attempt to Skype to the mayor of Edmonston. Edmonston was the Live Right Now capital of Canada, and we are here to celebrate the Live Right Now movement. So we are hoping that we've got the mayor on the line from Edmonston, and we here in Brampton want to say a huge shout out to Edmonston. Bravo. How does it feel to be the Live Right Now capital of Canada? It felt great. Do you hear me well there, over there? Yay, we can hear yeah, you, we you can are. hear you. Oh, yeah. I, 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 listen, it's just wonderful to be here uh, with you. I, I was listening to the show on the TV uh, a few minutes ago. It's, it's great to be here with you tonight. Uh, it was great to win, uh, win this contest uh, uh, last, last spring. I would say it, it was tremendous for the city, for the community. Great event, uh, a great friendship, uh, a sporting event. Uh, a great competition with, between cities and, uh, and, you know, at the end of the day, everyone wins. Well, you know, we just want to say bravo. Thanks for being a leader across Canada. We're here in Brampton today and we're proud to say the Live Right Now movement continues loud and proud here in our city, but we're leading by your example. So congratulations. Send a congratulations to all the people in Edmonton that have done a great job and be sure to keep living right now. Well, Thanks for joining uh, us. And you're doing a great job over there, uh, Margaret. We, we had our own Margaret in, right here in Edmonton called Hélène Albert. She did a great job with a group of, of, of uh, physicians called Prescription Action. You're, you're doing a great job. I'm looking to the show right now, and it, it's a great, great event. Well, thank you very much. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays to you, your family, and your entire city. Thanks for taking time out of your busy schedule. And a, a, a thumbs up to the people of Brenton over there. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Okay, okay. back to the shallots. Oh, we are got them coming from all over the I place. Know, all over the world. Back. The planet. I'm absolutely. Well, but back to the not? shallots. It's all about living well. Back to the shallots. shallots. I'm a taskmaster. we got to get we cooking. We have some shallots. Yep. I peeled a few. Okay. Keep your knuckles in. Right. Slice them fast. Not that fast. Just like that. That's all Perfect. we need to do. Just like this. Nice. I have some already done. Nice. You put them in a hot pan. You hear that little sizzle. Nice. Little drizzle of olive oil. And I'll show you a little chef's trick. Well, always season your food. Always season. That's the biggest thing that a chef will always tell you. Season as you go, always. Okay. The biggest trick here is you can either use white sugar. White sugar is not good for you, though. No, it is not. So brown sugar, right. besides having more flavor, yes, because it's brown and right. it's already got a caramelized flavor to it, right. we use that to help them speed up oh. the browning process the caramelization of our onions. So that's a quick tip. That's a little secret yeah. tip. Okay, well we're gonna actually take an audience question. You go, while you're uh, 
sauteing those onions. Joan's here in the front row. Joan, can you uh, share a question? Yeah. Yeah, Chef Christopher, if we didn't have shallots at home, could we use a different type of onion? Well, you could use cooking onions, but cooking onions are really, really strong. So a nice Fidelli onion, like a sweeter onion would be nicer. But you can pretty much find these little shallots in every grocery store. It's a little milder. It has a little bit of a garlic background to it. So it's just more flavor. It's all about building flavor. Fantastic. Flavor. Good. Okay, so all what's about. next? So we have to make a little pesto. Okay, we're pesto. Making some I pesto. love pesto. So we have to go behind us. We have a little arugula. That's how simple this is. Throw a little arugula in there. Some garlic cloves. Now, you can make it strong or you can make it mild. Depends how much garlic you like. And when you make this... Or it depends on how much you like the people at your party. That's true. Right? Because you might want to add more garlic. But it's also, from a health perspective, yeah. it's also very good for your immune system and your digestion. So there you go. Salt and pepper, always season again. And we're going to use some toasted pine nuts tonight. I love pine nuts. Pine nuts are traditional for pestos. But you can use walnuts, any kind of nuts you like. So customizing for the people at home, whatever they have in their kitchen, if they didn't have pine nuts, throw something else in. It could be walnuts, pecans, you whatever bet. you like, okay. any kind of nut. And then we're putting some Parmesan Reggiano cheese. Now once again, it's all about using the best ingredients that we can. So I like to use Parmesan Reggiano. This is Parmesan Reggiano Volcarosa, which is the number one cheese in the world. And I don't know about you guys at home, but our audience here, we're salivating. It smells delicious in here. So you turn on your food processor. A little loud. I'll talk louder. A little olive oil. So it looks smooth. Done. One minute. There you go. We're done. Perfect. So we're ready for that. Yep. That's done. We have some grated cheese. We used some Fontana, Fontana cheese. Beautiful. <laughs> this is what that one looks like. Italian. We need to get our puff pastry. Okay. Now, the secret to puff pastry... I, puff pastry scares me. Well, it's not it, sh scary. it shouldn't scare you. Okay. The only problem with puff pastry is it has to be cold. Okay. Because it's got a little bit of butter in it. So there's our sheet of puff pastry. We cut it in half. We're all going to use half of it. Now, this is okay. a secret little trick thing. Okay. We want to put a border on here. And why are we doing that, Chef? Just to make it look nicer. Oh, pretty is so always good. So we go like pretty that. Good. and. It's, it's a tart, so it'll just look a little fancier. And this is how easy. Now you save this piece for later. Okay. You can do other things with it. That's ready to go. And the trick with this is the up. fork. Okay, oh, we're poking it. This now the where... kids at home, you can get into this. Poke it, get out your frustration, spend a little energy. <laughs> you did exactly. And you... But the reason we do this is so that the puff pastry doesn't rise up like this. Right. Okay, so now we're at that stage. We're going to take a quick break. Yep. We're going to come back. We're going to assemble it, fire it in the oven, and see how delicious it looks. And we'll be back for part two. But before we go, check out Dr. Victoria Resendez, our WOW naturopathic doctor, who's going to talk about some digestive tips for the holidays. Listen to this. Hi, everyone. It's Victoria here, the Wallace for Wellness naturopath. And I'm here today to give you some tips on keeping your digestive system happy and healthy during the holiday season. I know even the healthiest eaters tend to indulge a little bit during the holidays, and that's great. But here's some tips on helping you feel uh, great through the holiday season. So my first tip, if you've overeaten, if you feel a little bit nauseous or have an upset stomach, ginger is the great um, source to go to. Now, most people will go to ginger ale, but why not cut back on the sugar and actually just try real fresh ginger root? It's delicious, it's soaked into hot water. It makes a delicious tea and it can help with that nauseous feeling if you've overeaten a little. Um, the second option for people who feel really gassy or bloated after a big meal, peppermint is a great, great, um, uh, herb that can help with easing up some of that gas buildup. So you can try that as a tea as well. It's delicious. Um, this, the third thing that I'd like to talk about is probiotics. Now, many of us know you can get probiotics through yogurts and um, some products like kefir or goat's cheese and milk, but through a supplement, you're getting a bit of a higher source. Now again, talk to your health care practitioner before starting any type of supplement. But the key thing I will always suggest to patients is make sure that when you're getting a probiotic, it has multiple strains of different beneficial bacteria. And the simple way of doing that is just check the label on the back and you can count the individual strains. My key piece of advice, there's at least eight different strains of probiotics and you'll be healthy, happy, and digestively happy through the holiday season.
Well, now we're here back out of the kitchen, and I'm hanging here in our living room with David Kittner, the youth fitness guy. And what a great guy to have sitting next to me during the holiday season. We're eating great foods, we're mm -hmm. spending time with family, but we got to move our body. You're here to tell us how. Absolutely. I mean, uh, kids instinctively want to play. We just have to give them the time and permission to play. Holidays can be uh, full of joy. They can also be a lot of stress. So getting out, being physically active, playing with your kids inside, outside, um, does a lot to deal with that stress. And of course, you can put something under the Christmas tree that's active and that's actually right. get involved with your kids. The kids want to do things with their family. Absolutely. As parents, we're role models for our kids, and the more we can get them moving and give them opportunities to move, the more they're going to have fun with it, and the more they're going to want to keep doing it. Okay, so when at the end of the turkey dinner, potentially, mm -hmm. and the tryptophan's in your tummy, can't we just get up and even just going for a walk makes a difference? But let the kids lead, right? Absolutely, absolutely. Let the kids lead. It's it's their environment of play. Let them lead you in their in their joy of discovery and play, and you'll do some things that you never thought you'd do before, and I have a whole lot of fun doing it. Well, and you know what? Dr. Mott was talking about obesity rates, and this is real in our community, not just in children, but in our adults. Moving our body and setting an example is so important for our health. Small changes make a big difference. Absolutely, and the gift of movement is is a wonderful gift that we can give our kids for Christmas. You bet. You know what? That's You've heard it here at WOW TV. Giving your gift of movement and play Kids don't play enough. And you know what? Even kids at heart, like me, like you, playing is something that we've lost the art of and we need to start doing more. I'd like to thank, take this time to thank the Region of Peel because without this, we wouldn't be sitting here today. And of course, the Corporation of the City of Brampton, they've given some great things for the swag bags and their support. And of course, Sobeys as well for a lot of our set decor. Now we want to stay tuned to listen to Councillor John Sanderson, who's been very much a part of our Live Right Now movement. He's got a personal, very important story to share. Listen up to this. It's going to make a difference in the way you think about your health. My name is John Sanderson. I'm Regional Counselor for Wards 3 and 4 in the City of Brampton here. Well, up to, uh, up to July the 13th, I always thought I was, uh, I always thought I was healthy and uh, was going to live forever and uh, could do whatever I wanted to do. But uh, even though people are always saying, you've got to look after yourself, you've got to look after number one, I, I, I ignored that quite often and uh, just carried on my busy lifestyle. And uh, I was driving down the road one day and I all of a sudden had these pains I never had before. And... Uh, um, pulled over and went in and had the uh, police actually phone 911 for me ended up that I had a heart attack so uh, it made me really stop and think what I had to do in order to change my lifestyle um, so I, I had to start looking after number one so that's that's why I'm here today in the cardiac rehab program at Brampton Civic Hospital which is a great program it goes on for six months and uh, it's twice a week we come here we have exercises we have we have great leaders great people looking after this program we talk to nutritionists dietitians um, kinesiologists uh, they're all here they're all here looking after us and um, I'm looking for great results out of this here and and I've learned a lot since I've been here I've learned all about nutrition. I've learned all about uh, reading labels before I eat or drink something and it's so important. Well, the lifestyle has completely changed from what I've been used to. I, I worked in the private sector for the whole of my for my whole life until up to 2006 when I run for regional councillor. Like a lot of people, we're in we're in meetings all day long, and we just go from one meeting to another meeting to another meeting, and therefore we can't work exercise or we can't we don't seem to be able to watch our diets during the day. So therefore, we're eating whatever whatever comes along. Well, we're obviously setting the example for the kids of today. We need to uh, we need to practice what we preach and we need to eat, eat what we should be eating. We need to eat our fruits and vegetables. So what we'd like to do is we'd like to work on making it easier for people that work or visit our buildings, municipal buildings, so that they can have a more a flavorful uh, uh, foods to eat rather than the sweets. Peel Public Health staff is working with our vendors to get good healthy food into our cafeterias and into our buildings at the Region of Peel. They're working uh, toward um, better labeling and etc so people can identify which is healthy foods. Council has resolved to create a nutrition policy on all the foods that are sold and serviced in regional buildings. It doesn't seem like a very big change but sometimes small changes make have a huge impact on your health. We're hopeful now that other other businesses out there will make the same type of a change to have the good flavorful healthy foods for their employees benefit. 
it's so important to share the story because we're the leaders in the community and if the leaders can't share their stories then there's something wrong here so we need to get out and about and tell the stories about how people have to look after themselves whether it's through eating or drinking or or having exercises looking after themselves that way Well, thank you, Councillor Sanderson, for being brave enough to share your story. And you're absolutely right. By sharing your story, you can inspire other people, all Canadians, to get off their couch, to pay attention to what they're eating, and to live healthier, more active lifestyles. So let's get back to the tart. That's it. We're back to the think? tart. And it's all about, like you said, healthy living. Absolutely. So we have our puff pastry ready. We yep. already poked it. We have our basil. Now, for those kids at home that poked it, get out the paintbrush, or not the paintbrush, but the pastry brush. They might or get their the paintbrushes paint Well, as long as it's clean. As long as it's clean. Yeah. And start helping mom and dad paint up this pastry. Just like that. Look That's at the pretty green this color. This is how simple this is, guys. You just put a little bit. Don't brush the crust. Okay. We don't want to brush that. Good. So then we reach in to our oven and get our oven-dried oh. tomatoes. Ooh, now, that's ah. what these little bad boys look like after being in the oven for 25, 30 minutes. Beautiful. So, we lay some of these on. Can I help? Sure you can. Is you there know, a special you, you way? You know people. No, just random. Just Let's go. put those on there like that. And if my kids wanted to make a happy face, you they could, could do, do that? You okay. want. Just checking. Some caramelized shallots. Now, like we were talking about earlier, if you don't like yeah. some of these ingredients, change them out. Right, right. You can just do anything that your kids will eat. So Some if kids your kids are plain eaters, <laughs> have those beautiful tomatoes, some a little bit of cheese, and yeah. call it a day. And a little right? bit of pesto. Right. And then you put your nice cheese on top. Beautiful. This is how simple I actually this is. could see this being kind of a fun party with the kids, you know, having some of oh. my nieces over and, and getting these out. They can all customize their own and enjoy, right? And then you could serve them to your guests that evening. That's, oh, put the and kids to work. you just saved work. yourself a fortune. A time holiday tip. That, that means you won't be calling me, though. That's right. <laughs> no, no, no. Wait to no, go, we, Margaret. We can't, we can't do it like you do, Christopher. Oh, no, I don't know. I'm making it pretty simple. So, guys, we've just topped everything. Yeah. Now, now we're ready for another social media question oh, or comment. Paul, what, what's going on out there in Cyberworld? Well, Margaret, we're just uh, overwhelmed by uh, uh, the people following right now on uh, hashtag WowTV. We're getting tweets from the GTA, Calgary, Alberta, Halifax, uh, our friends down south in the United States, uh, Colorado, Memphis, Tennessee, Ooh. Miami, Florida. We're really, uh, we're really reaching a large audience today. And uh, that was the whole goal, to raise awareness. Now, there is a, a specific question for um, Chef Christopher. Mm. Uh, it's from Guelph, Ontario, Kelly Smith. And she was asking about the, uh, the gorgonzola cheese. Or the gorgonzola. There you gorgonzola. go. Gorgonzola. <laughs> or the Italian gorgonzola. Yeah. We haven't got there yet, but we're going to get to gorgonzola. Yeah, she was, she, I, I she guess, had prepared the with the recipes wow. that were online. And uh, she was wondering about uh, a substitution for that. Not every, gorgonzola is an Italian blue cheese. It's probably one of the nicest blue cheeses on the planet, mm -hmm. but it's not everybody's cup of tea. Right. So you can change it out for a nice brie, some aged cheddar, a little goat cheese, whatever cheese you really like or what you think your family and kids or your guests will like. Fantastic. But I tell you, when you're having a party, don't try and please everyone. True. Because you can't. Right. Please yourself. Well, Kelly, thank you for sending that in. Obviously, she went out and bought the groceries, and she's Perfect. concerned about the gorgonzola because she doesn't like it. So I'm glad <laughs> she did that. So now we're back to the tart. We're back what, to the tart. How do we so finish this off? We have the tart here. We put a little bit of chopped parsley on top. Okay. We have an egg. We just throw a little egg in there. We just whisk this up a little bit. Because basically, we want to just make a little egg wash. Now, what this is for. It's just to make the crust shine. Right. Just right. around here. So we just brush it around just the edge like this. It's so simple. My God, this is so simple. It is. And you know what? You can make these up the day before, have them in your fridge ready to go. So when your guests, as soon as they walk in the door and you just came down from upstairs getting ready, fire it in the oven. Serve it at room temperature when it comes out. Let it sit on the counter because you don't want to cut it right away. Right, right. Because it'll be too hard to handle. You fire it in the oven for 20 minutes. And with the magic Ooh. of television, oh. we have one done. And if it, only it, holiday entertaining was that easy. It was that simple. But you know, you're absolutely right. 
planning ahead of time, and I know that our, that our dietitian that works with Wallace for Wellness always talks about the fact you've got to have a game plan. And you know what? Getting organized in, in advance is so important. Amy has taught me this because when you're busy and all you parents out there, you're all busy. You're running, you're going to work, kids' activities, and the holidays just make it even more. You've got to shop, you've got to wrap. So getting everything prepared ahead of time, right? Preparing this the day before, day before keep so it that in the garage, in the garage, which is the best cooler the best out there, big refrigerator this time of year. You betcha. Or on your balcony, as long as there's not cats that can get up there. That's true. So now, how do we make this look pretty? So, so now, when you serve it, we just take it off, and you can just cut it in little wedges. See, now I must tell you, this or is you what always amazes me about a in chef. Triangles. That's it. Like he just. It's, it's, it's you just it's, have fun. It's not rocket science. No. Just make it simple. Yeah. First of all, we don't have time to complicate. We just don't have the time anymore to be complicated. So I just tell people, just keep it simple. I tell everybody that. I teach cooking classes all over the city. And this is the same idea. Just keep it simple. You put it out like this. A little drizzle of good olive oil. Buy good olive oil if you can. And a little drizzle like that. Nice. And that's it. It's so simple, so elegant. You serve it just like this at room temperature. Right. And it's fab. People will just love it. Well, and you know what? We're talking about appetizers for the holiday yeah. season. But quite frankly, I can see my family on a Saturday afternoon for lunch making our own like this, that, and and even a, a nice homemade soup. Soup to go along with it. And that is a beautiful lunch. lunch. You betcha. Soup. You betcha. Keep it in moderation. Keep your cream levels down. Yep. And that's it. Okay, so now if we wanted to do um, something without phyllo, just just saying, right? Right. Could we use something else if, if people don't are afraid to try phyllo? Just very quickly, what else could we put? Well, this, this is on? not phyllo. This is puff, puff pastry. pastry. Okay. That's right. But you that's could right. use phyllo. Could use that's phyllo. the Greek dish. Right. That's, you, right. that's Spanakopita. So that's very right. similar. You could use that as well. Right. Or if you really wanted to, go to Loblaws, buy one of their little pre-made shells. Right. I was take going there. That's exactly where Just I was going. Just take it right out of the shell, mm -hmm. lay it down, do the same thing. It's already circled. Right. So cut another circle out of it. Put a little ring on it like we did. And put your tops go. on there. Bake I'm it just in thinking for ease. You no, know, you're just thinking outside the box. Oh, you're yes, you're not just another pretty face. We knew this right <laughs> away when we brought her along. She's not just another pretty face. You're very kind. Oh, and this no. looks very delicious. So we've got some more yeah, to go here. And we then do. we're coming back to do yet another dish. Fabulous. So stay tuned because right now it's all about living right now. CBC is really making a difference in the health and well-being of Canadians. Check out this clip from our Champions for Change movement over the past 18 months that we're really proud of here in Brampton. We We've had a blast breaking some records and getting our community active and healthy. Watch this. So we're here now at Champions for Change Get Brampton Healthy and our favorite mascot from the battalion, Sarge. Of course, I've got my good friend Jennifer Thomas from Ageless Fitness, who's part of the Champions for Change Council. We have a big announcement to make. Jen, you're speaking on behalf of Sarge. So Sarge, what are you going to do to live right now? Can you whisper in my ear? <gasps> He's going to lose 10 pounds. 10 pounds as part of the Million Pound Challenge. All right, Sarge, sign up. Right now I'm here with Emma and she's going to pledge how she's going to live right now. What are you going to do, Emma, to live right now? Um, I can jog more and run more. And I'm going to live right now by going running more and not stop watching TV. So how are you going to live right now? Hi, I'm Blake and I'm excited to be here for Champions for Change. I'm going to live right now by working out more. I love doing Zumba, so I think I'm going to uh, pledge to do a lot more Zumba than I do right now. And I'm going to do some more walking bike riding with my family. Um, I'm probably going to go for more jogs with my dad around the neighborhood every week in the summer. So Live right now. Oh, look at that. She go, even does it on point. Ladies and gentlemen, it doesn't stop today. We need to continue this movement. It's not just about losing weight. It's about living healthier. It's about awareness. It's about recreating with your families and making it fun. Look 
what I have here. <laughs> a very festive fig. Now, what one would do with this fig is uh, got me perplexed. That's why you're here. And the people at home want to know how we are going to, first of all, make a fig into something that we want to eat and our kids want to eat. Well, it's very simple. Okay. Right, we're going to do it right now. But first, we have to get started with a little bit of balsamic vinegar for President's Choice, actually. It's so funny. I was doing some cooking the other day for Galen and his wife, Alexandria, and this is one of the dishes that we used. Oh, you're kidding. So, Great. this is a really, really, really nice fancy appetizer. So we put a cup. And you just knew vinegar. that was a cup. Ah, yeah, you get used to it. As you do, yeah. Some maple syrup. Yeah. So we have one cup okay. of uh, vinegar, quarter cup maple syrup, and then we just let it simmer down. Let it simmer Let it down. Do the work. It takes about 15, 20 minutes. It's very simple. Do you put the simmer down Christmas music on when that's happening? You should have the music on all the time. That's this place should be rocking. That's right. Well, Absolutely. My house is a little different kind of music. I'm like a like loud rock and roll. I could, when I drive my car, I need to hear. The you need music. to hear I it. Hear, I have to hear you feel the beat. Absolutely. But anyways, okay. let's get over to our figs. Cut off the top. We don't want those little bad boys. Now, for all the kids at home, I think you're going to be quite surprised to see what the inside of a fig looks like. Um, oh. They're really cool. They're really cool. Let me just show you. And they're a fruit, so they're we sweet. Cut them. They very sweet. This time of year, this is when they're in season. Always in season at Christmas. This is one of the best fruits at Christmas. I love this because everything else is so expensive at Christmas. Because everything else is coming from all over the world. Right. Right. You know, strawberries are from California. Everything else from Chile. But look at these. Look at the color on those. Beautiful. Aren't those fabulous? Beautiful. Oh. So what we do is we have some gorgonzola cheese. Now, if now, you're Kelly from, if Guelph, you're Kelly from Guelph, you don't want gorgonzola yeah, I don't cheese. I want the gorgonzola. I'm not a big gorgonzola fan. Really? Of no. Oh, my God. No. This stuff is sexy. It, it's maybe oh, sexy. sexy. I don't like it. Okay. So if, if, <laughs> if it's sexy, what else? If I put brie, would that be sexy? If you like brie, okay. brie is like very brie. sexy. Okay. Or goat cheese. Goat cheese I goat love. Che everyone loves goat. Well, not I, everyone, but... Yeah. I love goat cheese, but no like gorgonzola. I said, once again, you can't please everybody. No, that's right. That's right. So but we're pleasing our viewers because now they can make their own decisions. That's right. You so bet. So we just stuff a few of these little bad boys like this. This is fun. It's kind of like Play-Doh, kids. You're able yeah. to get your fingers in there. You get the kids there. to do this. And yeah. They, and it doesn't matter. You can't hurt these. Because what we're going to do is we're going to get a little bit of President's Choice Parma Prosciutto. And we just cut it in half. And we just Ooh. wrap it around. Now while you're doing that wrapping, pick. you're going to put the pick in just there? Just like a present. Oh, look at that. We're wrapping pick. a present. Just like wrapping a present. Well, you keep wrapping okay, because I got to go going. to my man Paul over here for a social media question or comment. What do we got going? Well, uh, just to let you know, Margaret, I, I was mentioning earlier about our fans in Canada and the United States, but we're we're going global. Oh. Uh, we have uh, Siren Sister England, Perth, Australia, and Trinidad and Tobago. Woohoo! So uh, keep following along on hashtag Wow TV. Um, now, unfortunately, David Howey, uh, one of the chefs uh, that was going to appear tonight, um, took ill, and, uh, but he's been tweeting in, and he's, he's uh, sent in a few tips. Um, he's listed, check recipes for fat, sugar, and salt to meet dietary needs. Choose olive oil or vegetable oil instead of butter when sautéing. And the last one was avoid processed foods that contain the white group, flour, sugar, salt, and hydrogenated uh, fat. Oh, sorry, go ahead. Oh, no problem. Didn't um, interrupt. Yeah, the, like I said, the tweets keep coming in. Um, our friends at pinkandbluebaby.com, uh, which is the Pink and Blue uh, magazine, they uh, have some great holiday tips on their website, pinkandbluebaby.com, and they're tweeting in tonight, and I believe we have in the audience. Um, I think we've got the pink, the and, pink blue and blue lady. guru right Nicole in the Bloomberg house. Nicole is in the audience, so welcome. You bet. And uh, make sure you check out their website. Well, and as a mom, we know how busy it can be, and especially if you've got little children. So if you've got some great tips in that magazine, you mom's got to check that out. And of course, I do want to say I'm so sorry, so sorry that uh, Chef How. Uh, how he couldn't be with us. If you've read in the papers, there was a really nasty flu. He was devastated not to be here. You're here in spirit, and apparently you're here with your computer on your lap at home. So get better soon. We wish you were here, but we'll have you here next time. Okay, what now are we I'm doing? I'm gonna sneak you right in here because this is where I hid the parchment paper to have everything ready. Right. Everything's ready. We got we our presents. Put our little figs on here. We fire these into the oven. And these will take about, 
then about 15 minutes just to soften the cheese. That's it. And magic of television. And what was Thank the come out. and what was the temperature in the oven? I always cook a 400. 400. I like 400. You could cook a little lower if you're not sure with that. Mm -hmm. Most chefs cook really high. Right. We like things cooking fast because time is money. Time is absolutely, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. We made some candied pecans. Oh. Now these are so simple to make. All now, we do is get a frying pan. We get some pecans. Yeah. Once again, a little brown sugar. We sauté them in the till they get brown. Right. We finish them with a little fresh thyme and a little parsley. Ooh, thyme. Oh, okay. oh, thyme. You've got to have thyme. Thyme is one of the number one herbs in the world that's used. The other one besides that is cilantro. Yes. Yes, I love cilantro. Now, of course, I have a niece that has a nut allergy, so and many of you huh. out there have nut allergies, so I'm always very aware when I look at dishes like this um, to be safe. Yes, yeah, so, have to be. Absolutely. So could you tell us a little bit of a replacement for the nut so that we can keep our families safe as well over the holidays? Well, if you don't want to use nuts, you can use dried cranberries. Oh, that'd be nice. That'd be yeah. nice, very festive. Yeah. Or what I like to do is I get pumpkin seeds, Ooh. dust them with cumin, and then bake them in the oven. So you still over. get that crunch, which is what you'll get the crunch because nice. you want a little con contrast. Right. So and then we put those three. Look at now these this is about presents. three to a person. Take out the picks now because we don't need those. Beautiful. And we just happen to have a little reduction already made. Look at that. Just, just in case. The, once again, you guys can make this at home a week in advance, two weeks in advance. It holds forever. Just oh. don't put it in the fridge. Don't put it Don't in, in the, the fridge. fridge. It'll okay. firm right up and it, it's, it's not it's, good. It's not good. So then you just literally just, just with a drizzle fork drizzle. A That's little. fun. And you know what? That's sexy. <laughs> That's sexy. And it's then, also fun for the kids festive, at home. I thought some pomegranate seeds. That, you know what? And my son Blake absolutely loves pomegranates. And in yeah. our house, I mean, there's you always know when that's been around because there's red on the countertops, red on the fingers. But look at how pretty Did that looks. Did you tell him how to pick a pomegranate? No, I didn't because I didn't know this oh, chef. Oh. Why don't we tell Blake how to pick a pomegranate? Grab me a pomegranate. Am I, and now I'm scared I'm going to pick the wrong one. You picked the wrong one, but it's okay. <laughs> okay. Pick, you know when a pomegranate is the sweetest is when it is really, really shiny. The shinier it is, the riper it is inside. And so, they're so easy to get out, you cut them in half. Get a spoon. And start banging it. Start banging them out. And Fantastic. That's it. that's it. So you heard it here, Blake. It's easy as that. And uh, thank you. That looks, that looks delicious. Oh, doesn't it look delicious? Delicious. Oh my God. And the taste, so simple, so easy, and fat. healthy. Thank you. Thank you, Chef. Thanks for having me. Now, just a few weeks ago, our Champions for Change were at our local Powerade Center for Karate Chops Diabetes. Such an important cause and an important event. Check out this clip. For everybody, ever told you you can't do something, I want you to count. Six, five, six, five. Let me feel that energy. The significance behind all this is, is to show kids that living with diabetes, you know, it, it's another obstacle that we have to overcome but we still can achieve our goals and uh, reach our dreams. I tow planes, I flip cars, just to prove to kids and anyone who's watching, we set our own limitations. Nobody can tell us what we can and can't do. I don't even believe in the word can't. I'll decide that. So I started to worry a lot, and uh, I was, you know, I had all those bad thoughts in my mind that it was gonna stop me from doing all the things I love. Community is really what it's all about. Um, for us at Connected in Motion, that's our whole vision, our whole mission is fostering a community of young adults who connect, educate and inspire one another to live well with diabetes and to not let it stop them. I got a gold medal from the World Championships, uh, proudly representing Canada. I know like, there's so much support is behind me. You walk in there on the platform by yourself, but you're not by yourself, you got an army of people behind you. Strength in numbers, no pun intended. To be a part of this energy and to be able to take that back to our own community and to really realize that um, everybody working within the world of diabetes here, we're all working towards a common goal. Uh, it's so exciting for us to be here.
Well, I tell you, we had a great time at the Karate Chops Diabetes. What a fun event. And six-pack, Lapidat, you rock. I, I don't know if you saw the promo, but I lifted the car, too. <laughs> um, I'm really excited to have my friend and a colleague, Amy Hayes, registered dietitian, in the house with me tonight. It is so important, as a mom, as a professional, when we're talking about diabetes, diabetic patients can enjoy the holidays, too. Absolutely, Margaret. And in fact, most of the tips we're going to talk, talk about tonight are for everybody, whether right. you're diabetic or not. And it's important because we don't want to become a diabetic. Absolutely. Um, and our health choice, our choices of food will make an impact. So mm -hmm. what are some tips you can tell everybody about trying to make it through the holiday season? Mm -hmm. Well, as you talked about before, having a game plan is number one. Going into the event prepared usually we know what's on the menu for the most part and if you don't just ask yeah. and plan a ahead what you're going to have or avoid you know what that's so true and what about going to a party hungry <laughs> uh, bad idea yes bad idea we never make good choices when we're over hungry oh. so have a healthy balanced snack throughout the day make sure to have breakfast and lunch so that when you do arrive at the the party mm -hmm. you're in a good frame of mind to make some good decisions now as you know a planner which I know you are and I'm trying to be I'm so trying to be how do we plan what do you say during the holiday season if, if you're running kids here there every Christmas parties tell us quickly what we can do to help plan well in terms of eating and healthy eating at a holiday event, I always say when you look at your plate, divide it into quarter, quarter, and half. So quarter being a protein, mm -hmm. quarter being a grain, and half being a fruit or vegetable. Okay. I think that's the best general rule that you could apply to any situation. And that's, whether it's the holidays or not, that is mm -hmm. something the way we should be looking at our portion sizes in North America. And in Canada, you know, we're, <laughs> we're really oversizing things here as well. Our bodies don't need that, do they? Absolutely. And, and another tip while you're at a holiday event is go to the buffet table, set your plate up as we've discussed, mm -hmm. head off to another room. Right. be done with it. Focus on your family, your friends and activities as opposed to food. You know what, that's such a great lesson. Focus on family, friends, and then our health will come a long way. Absolutely. Merry Christmas. Same to you. Thank, Thank you, you so Margaret. much for joining us. And I can't wait now to have Victoria Resendez, our naturopathic doctor, give us some holiday stress tips. Watch what Vic has to say. Victoria here again, wanting to give you yet another tip for the holiday season and actually throughout the winter months. Um, during the holiday season, there's a lot of stress, a lot of hustle and bustle. We want to keep our immune systems happy and healthy. So here are a few tips. Of course, there's always making sure you get plenty of rest and a great diet full of lots of fruits and veggies, but some supplements that are really helpful and can be um, used by almost the whole family. Again, make sure you talk to your healthcare practitioner. Um, a formula here called ACEs, it stands for vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin E, and then minerals, selenium, and zinc. Great, great antioxidants that support the immune system. Um, great for hair, skin, and nails too, so that's a bonus. We've also got garlic. Now everybody has plenty of garlic in their diet, but sometimes we don't want to smell like the, the herb either. So this is a great um, alternative. It's an odorless type of garlic. It's super critical, which means it's super concentrated with the healthy benefits of garlic. Um, so this is great for keeping your immune system strong. Uh, we talked about probiotics in the last tip, but a fantastic, fantastic support for the digestive system and your immune system. So this is another key for the winter months. Um, of course, making sure that you get it in your food as well, not only supplements, but a Greek yogurt, tons of protein, and great probiotics as well. So making sure that your digestive system is healthy, but also your immune system during the holiday and winter months. And these are key ways to do it. Well, everybody, it's been a great show tonight. And oh, my goodness, what would a holiday special be without St. Nick? Hi, Santa. Oh, hi. Merry Christmas. Hi. Oh, Merry Christmas. I'm so glad you could join us. Oh, I'm glad I could be here, too. I want to wish everybody a Merry Christmas and a healthy Christmas. Thank you. Well, i got to tell you, what a day it has been and what a year it has been. And we've got a lot of people to thank. I'd like to thank, of course, our incredible chefs, this amazing facility, Greenway Retirement Village, who's allowed us to host. we got to thank CBC and the Live Right Now movement. And, of course, we want to thank our WOW production team. Bravo. Everybody has worked so hard. My colleagues at Champions for Change, without you, this would not be possible. And, of course, 
a huge shout out to the region of Peel because without them this show would not happen and they are making a difference. The city of Brampton as well we want to say thank you to but the rest is up to you Canada. Do you want to live right now? As I always say attitudes are contagious. Is yours worth catching? We certainly have a good attitude here in Brampton. The rest of Canada let's see what you've got to hold. Merry Christmas everybody. Have a happy and healthy 2013 and we'll see you soon. Thank you.